the community and the elders. The people are my favorite part of the event is the children. We always uh, include uh, children from, from the North End schools. This year we had the William White Dancers. And the students at R.B. Russell School are absolutely integral. They help us prepare the stew. I couldn't imagine what it would taste like if there was only police officers making it. What are you serving? Uh, some delicious looking stew, actually. It's nice.
they want to achieve. Uh, so therefore we hope that there's still enough role models here so that they can build on that and become somebody. So, uh, a lot of people, we have uh, a lot of mature, uh, we have like mothers, fathers, it appears to be, uh, families, and they're all uh, enjoying this. And this is quite um, invigorating to myself. And I'm pretty sure I speak on behalf of the other members here. We're all enjoying it. Being in the North End for the last four years, having worked here as a constable, having grown up here, uh, people remember the feast. You think, okay, it's only one day a year, but people will talk about it and ask. Like, by February, they're like, when is the feast? When can we come to the feast? It's a real opportunity for them just to feel like, you know, the police are doing something outside of some of the peacekeeping duties. Unfortunately, a lot of what we're involved in is when people are in crisis. So this is a way to do something positive, and it's a way to make more connections and partners so that people um, pick up the phone or are willing to participate with us. It's like a whole new 